Jasmine feels like she's going to get into a good college. Because we do collaborative reading, we are helping every scholar feel successful regardless of the reading level. So who is it about? Jasmine. Being able to synthesize the big ideas, form opinions, and share those. Those are skills that any contributing citizen of the world would need. What do you think about that? Our mission is to create critical thinkers, children that are able to communicate clearly their thoughts, their ideas, and as a result are productive members of society. Collaborative reading is a reading approach where the scholars work with one another and share ideas. Little cat was walking down the street. It's amazing because the kids are coming in at different levels, different learning styles. So whether you're a higher reader or a lower reader, we're all going to break it down together. Why is this important? Because we want to better understand the text. What I like most about collaborative reading is you take all your ideas, put them together, and make one big thought. We all understand it. Scholars, we're ready for collaborative reading. The structure of collaborative reading is broken into five phases. Each day is concentrating on a specific skill or idea. Each phase has a question tailored to that skill that we want them to walk away with. We're going to do phase one. We're going to look for the main idea in chapter eight. I went directly to her office to ask how this obvious mistake had occurred. So the text we've been reading is a book called Jasmine's Notebook. Jasmine wants to be a writer. Mrs. Wise, this counselor, wants her to stay at home, clean, cook, and to not follow her dreams. A person like yourself would be happier doing something with your hands. After we read it, we go back to what was the main idea, because if they understood that point, then it'll be easier for them to build on it. So we're stuck with B or C. C says Jasmine, they believe she would not get into college, but we'll choose an answer. We'll discuss it with the class to see if we agree. Why do you guys think is B? The courses Mrs. Wise picked for her will be unfitting for her career as a best-selling author. Phase two is annotating the text for better understanding. We do it chunk by chunk, and we annotate key details that supports the gist. This gives scholars an opportunity to really dissect. Some of the annotation markings are a star, if there's a section that's really vital, arched arrows, connecting ideas, question marks. By phase three, now we're going to go back, look at those annotations. What inferences can we make here? We're going to go back to our text to answer some questions. It could be A, and it could be B. I'm leaning more towards A. Does everybody have an answer? What do you guys think is A and not B, C, or D? She thinks Jasmine is not going to go to college. You could affirm that she doesn't believe in her. Phase four, now we're looking closely at the author's craft. So what was the message that was being conveyed with certain words or phrases? Me and Ariane annotated that her name is very, like, ironic. She's not that wise as her name says because Jasmine doesn't want to do the courses she put her in to do. Phase five is about bringing it all together. So they're thinking about a theme or drawing conclusions why the author wrote what he wrote. The summary of this episode would be Mrs. Wise controlling Jasmine's life. So what goes after your claim? The way that we select text for collaborative reading, we look at texts that are grade level and above grade level. So this approach is a perfect way for scholars to feel successful, even if they are below, and for us to push those who are already on grade level. My favorite thing about collaborative reading is that since we all hear other people's ideas, we have a better understanding. And also, we have multiple days to figure out the meaning. Because we do collaborative reading, scholars get access to literacy in so many different ways. It's through their sharing and their discussion, the process of the collaborative reading.